Hello to all my artsy friends. Today I'm sharing three modern farmhouse Kirkland's inspired DIY dupes that have the same look for less money. These Dollar Tree DIYs will dress up that boring laundry room. I can't wait to show you how easy these are to make, so let's get started on the first Kirkland's Dollar Tree DIY. So here was the inspiration for my first Kirkland's dupe. I thought this sign was so cute and it would look great in the laundry room. This was $30 at Kirkland's and we will be making it for only $3. I started by printing out this sign that I made. I used some spray mount to put it on a piece of Dollar Tree foam core and then I just trimmed it out. This video is part of the Look For Less Challenge hosted by the Latina Next Door. Her co-host this month is Desert DIY. There will be a playlist, which I will link below, showing lots of other DIYs that have the same look for less money. Next, I took this Play-Doh, which I found at Dollar Tree, and made little spheres and let these dry, and then I painted them black. I used some floral wire and pliers to make those links, which I attached to the laundry sign. Now for some black paint to make this sign look like our inspiration. Hey, if you're stopping by my channel for the first time, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate all your love and support on Artsy Cupcake. My name is Maria, and my passion is sharing ways to get creative in your home. I try to make my DIYs as simple and low cost as possible so that you can be ultra inspired to make something beautiful. If you love home decor and DIY inspiration, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now. I used a chalk pen to make the letters look more aged. That aged look is part of what gives this sign that farmhouse look. I glued everything together and added an extra piece of wood to support the two dowels. Let's take a look at the comparison and how much we saved. I loved these signs and thought they would dress up the bare walls in my laundry room. We'll be spending a lot less than $50 for them though. I had these nice wood frames from Dollar Tree. They're actually made of plastic, but they look like wood. And I had even used them for another fall craft, but I wanted to give them a fresh look and have a gray and black and white theme for my laundry room. So I got some white paint and with the wood texture on these frames, it came out looking really rustic. edges do not have that same wooden texture, but if you keep the sponge brush going in the same direction, you will get the effect of wood. I hopped onto Adobe Illustrator and put together these signs. I will put these on my blog so you can download them if you decide to make these for yourself. I used a paintbrush slightly dampened with some black paint and I added a little bit of texture and age to these paper signs. They looked too crisp for that modern farmhouse look we're going for. I love hearing from you guys, so please leave me a comment letting me know what you think of these copycats of expensive home decor. Let's see what the savings was on this dupe. Yep, I think we did pretty good on this one too. I thought some baskets in my laundry room would come in handy for things like dryer sheets and little packets of laundry detergent. These were $55 from Kirkland's, but we will be saving a lot by making our own with these Dollar Tree baskets. I started by using a touch of white paint to give the outside of the baskets a little bit of an aged look. The inside we'll be covering with a liner, so don't worry about painting the inside. I 
got some Waverly fabric that I found at Walmart a while back. Plus it's gray, which will match our theme. But Dollar Tree does sell fabric like this, but I only had these seasonal patterns. You can use either fabric fuse tape or some fabric glue. I ended up using the glue for this project. I do not have a sewing machine and I'm not trying to be fancy with these baskets. So we will be making these liners quick and dirty. I started by measuring the baskets, but that ended up being too complicated for baskets that are somewhat uneven to begin with. So I just kind of draped the fabric over the basket and outlined where the curves were. I cut these to size and then ironed each piece and ironed down the edge. I cut a piece of twine for each edge and then used some of the fabric glue to seal it down. Now for just a couple dollars, we have some functional and cute baskets and these will help organize the laundry room. Let's look at the comparison to the original. If you want to see more high-end home decor dupes, then I have a whole playlist full of inspiration right over here. And there's a little subscribe button right down here, so make sure to click on that and then you'll know when my next video goes up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a very happy day.